Murray, it's a very nice uh, factory that you have here. Uh, and I think you have one more line established recently. I just wanted to ask you a question about the quality, like, you know, what we saw, like coming from seed to the oil uh, collecting in tanks. How do you maintain the quality? At, at what stage and, and uh, how many times it gets checked? Yeah, so, uh, because we have a natural product with no chemicals uh, introduced into the process, you know, it's a fairly simple uh, QAQC system. So uh, we would test uh, a batch of oil at any given time, uh, from the time of arriving at the silos to being produced and separated into oil and meal. Each ton of product would have seen a, a testing regime of about eight times uh, sampling uh, during its uh, processing life, um, you know, to ensure that we maintain a set standard. And then uh, based on the fact that we uh, service the food industry uh, worldwide, you know, uh, it's imperative that we maintain a set standard. But then uh, that standard is easily obtained by us based on the fact that we don't add any additives or any chemicals to the process, so there's no instability in the product. All right, okay, thank you very much. Seed processing area in these hoppers, the seed are fed and then they are uh, filtered and they are separated from the straw, is that correct? That's correct. So, uh, we uh, put the seed cleaning process at the start of our processing uh, line due to the fact that uh, we have to remove the straw from the, the seed uh, otherwise, uh, you know, the straw will introduce a, a bitter taste and flavor to the oil and it will affect the quality. And the straw gets sold to stock feed and whatnot. Yes, correct. So, uh, yeah. Our general manager for this plant, he is going to show us the process of uh, oil extraction in the press. Yeah, Murray, please explain us. So, uh, okay. so uh, as we look at that, this is what we call our press deck. So if you look at the section at the top there, you can see the seed coming into the machine, to the feed shaft. From that point on, it branches down the horizontal and vertical feeder into the press itself. And then from there, it work, works up a worm assembly, where it generates a systematic pressure. At the bottom, uh, releasing oil. And then the meal moving down the part, expelling cake. This and the temperature of this process doesn't exceed more than 50 degrees Correct. And, and that's where you maintain all the uh, healthy yes so essentially, yeah. so essentially uh, our meal expelled in this section here will maintain the temperature below 50 degrees celsius our oil will be at a temperature of below 40 degrees celsius. below 40 degrees okay yes. and then this was the oil hopper the seed hoppers yes correct that's fine. And once the oil is extracted here, where does that go? So the oil goes straight. You can see at the bottom, you can see the connection auger running. Yeah. So from that auger, it drops down into the into the uh, transportation system out in the floor. Yeah. And that goes connected in a central tank. And then from that tank, it's transferred through our pressure deformation system. Okay. So that is all natural, uh, no heat added, and essentially it's all gravity filtration method. So in this side you have one so many presses here and they all are doing exactly the same thing. So this line of presses uh, produces our extra virgin uh, oil. Or extra virgin uh, oil, yeah. yeah. So once this oil is collected into the tanks, then you do the further processing for uh, different stages. Yes, so uh, depending on the quality of the oil that's required by the end customer, uh, you know, that will dictate if we maintain it, sending it through the pressure deformation system, or if we're going to process that and pre-filter that again to obtain the uh, deodorized and a decolored product. But all our practices are maintained chemical-free, 